Hi and welcome to lesson 7 of the Encore Music Notation Software Tutorial. In this lesson we're going to talk about key signatures. And I know this is something that we mentioned in an earlier lesson, but I wanted to come back through here again and talk about some of the options that we didn't talk about. So in key signatures, the way to get to them is by using the menu option where it says measures, and then down to where it says key signature, and notice that there is a shortcut from the keyboard. It's Control, Alt, and K. So that's a possibility that uh, we may use in a little while. Uh, so first thing that happens is that a dialog pops open and it shows you the options that are available for setting the key signature. So by now you'll recognize the top part of this. Uh, it's the one that deals with the from measure to measure and the defaults are measure one to measure one. If I want to go measure one to the end of the piece, I just select this one that sets the last measure of the score. And in this case, there are 15 measures in the score, so it allows me to get that far. Uh, so the next part, this is the important part. This is where you set the key signature. And you have up arrows and down arrows. It starts off in the key of C or A minor, possibly. Uh, no sharps, no flats. And if you go up, then it adds a sharp, two sharps, three sharps, Etc. It goes up by the circle of fifths, and it goes all the way up to this wonderful key of seven sharps. Uh, it goes then back down, changes the sharps, takes them away, and takes you down into the flats. And again, it's by the circle of fifths. And so we end up in this great key of having seven flats. Uh, so we can work our way up either direction to where we want to be. And so I'll just leave it in the key of C for the time being. The options that are down here... Some of them are very common, very straightforward. Some of them are a little more advanced, and I'll talk about them a little bit, but I'll save some of these things for when we get to those advanced topics. A key signature change will draw a double bar line on the score. If you want to avoid that, then you can select this option so that you don't have a double bar line when there is a key change. It's most common, I think, to have one, so I'm just going to leave it that way. Um, sometimes you may want to just delete the current key signature that's in the score and have it revert back to no sharps, no flats, uh, what will be the key of C or, or A minor. Uh, sometimes you want to have it affect just this staff. If you have a multiple stave piece where you have a lot of different parts representing different instruments perhaps, then you can have a key change, key change affect just the current staff that it's on. And then the bottom one is the more advanced one. This uh, is an override to some of the things that you can do when you have different instruments that are transposed into different keys for a score of, let's say, an orchestra or a band or a big band or whatever it would be where you would have parts in different keys. So we'll talk about that more later on when we get to that part. It's a more advanced feature. And then the part down at the bottom is what allows you to move the notes up or down as you are doing a key change, you're doing a key transposition. And so if I select move notes, then the option on the bottom shows up and it's to move the endings and the symbols. And that would mean the vertical position of the options that are shown along with the notes. We haven't talked about that yet, but we will later. Some of the uh, ending marks or the symbols that you place, for example, a fortissimo symbol or a pianissimo symbol, something like that would then be moved vertically along with the notes as they move during a transposition. So let's say I want to tr change this to the key of F, and I have this real simple piece, and I tell it I want to move the notes uh, up, in this case, uh, from 1 through the end of the piece, 1 through 15, and I select OK. And so what it does is it moves all the notes, and it changes the key signature, and there I am. And you'll notice that the stems are not facing the correct direction in this one. There is a way to fix that. It's a very easy way, and I'll save that for a future lesson because it applies to a lot of other things uh, besides just the key changes. It applies to doing other kinds of transpositions later on. So I'll just save that. I'll keep that uh, as an aside. We'll, we'll come back and talk about that. Anyway, that's how you get there. If you want to do it by keyboard shortcut, it's Control, Alt, and K brings up the same dialog. It's the key signature dialog, and that's what you need to change key signatures. So that's it for this lesson. 
If you want to see more about future lessons, take a look at my webpage, which is listed here. And if you want to know more about Encore, you can look at the Passport software website, which is also listed here. So I'll see you in a future lesson.